Hello from CNN London. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is World Report. Half a million people are on the move in Pakistan, fleeing to higher ground. The president is not there. Pakistan's Asif Ali Zardari has been holding formal talks with British Prime Minister David Cameron. The two leaders are trying to mend a rift over terrorism. We begin our coverage with Adrian Finnegan, who is covering the talks at, the, at Chequers, the Prime Minister's country residence outside London. Adrian. Uh, don't seem to be able. All right, let's just uh, we'll we'll check in with Adrian in, in just a bit, but let's uh, uh, go to Pakistan, where there is outcry in Pakistan over President Zardari's absence during the worst flooding in decades. But not everyone is critical, as Reza Saya found out. Now go to Chequers, just outside of London, which is the pr British Prime Minister's uh, country uh, uh, retreat, country estate, I should say. Uh, and Adrian Finnegan joins us now from there uh, with more on the discussions that are taking place right now and the talks that are taking place between the two leaders, between uh, President, Pakistani President Asif Ali Zardari and uh, the British Prime Minister uh, uh, David Cameron. Uh, Adrian, what is being said right now? I mean, the fact of the matter is the British Prime Minister is not really, um, is not taking back his words that he'd said that that, that, that Pakistan uh, was, I guess, being soft on terrorism in his, in, in his country, and he's standing by his words. So how are talks going, as you know? Uh, we know very little about what's okay, going on Adrian inside. Okay, Adrian Finnegan and Checkers, thank you very much for that. Well, let's just get the situation out on the ground in Pakistan when it comes to the uh, the weather and the and the, the what they can experience over the next uh, 24 and 48 hours. Let's bring in Mari Ramos at the World Weather Center with more on that. Mari. Hey, yeah, so you know, as we were listening from uh, Dan Rivers earlier, there's been a little bit of a lull as for far that. as... Up next, a mystery in the Gulf. Where did all the oil go? How some experts are baffled by its sudden disappearance. And sending a message to home oh. in the U.S. are now facing terror charges. Some of those suspects are American citizens. The U.S. Justice Department is accusing them of aiding and, in some cases, joining what it calls a terror group in Somalia. Jean Meserve has more details about the suspects and the group Al-Shabaab, which has been linked to Al-Qaeda. Al I'm Monita Rajpal in London. World Sport is next.